Hey guys, Egon. No, this is not the start of my OnlyFans page. I just thought I'd treat myself to a bubble bath because I, I can't remember the last time I had a bubble bath. But what do you watch when you're in a bubble bath? I tell you what you watch when you're in a bubble bath. The Flick Picks latest live show. This is it, don't get scared now. Hey, how you going guys? Hope you like that little cold bath opening, or should I say warm bath opening? Eh. So tonight marks the first event revolving around the release of Rebel Moon. So I did my vlog uh, with, with my travels earlier uh, today, went to the Pokemon Center, had a bit of a breather this afternoon, got some beautiful room service, um, had some uh, cheeky red wine, which has been great. But yeah, uh, we're going to a banquet dinner tonight just to meet all the other uh, creatives out there who are part of this uh, press junket, which is really cool. The, the gimmick with tonight is we're supposed to catch our dinner and then they cook it. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just putting it out there. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. At the same time, you, you catch your fish and then they cook it and they make like a banquet for you. I'm not a big fish person. I'm not a big seafood person. I'm one of those weird, boring, painful people that isn't a big fan of seafood, but I definitely will try it the same time, there's this weird moral dilemma. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to expect. Um, this vlog may be all for nothing and it's just too much to put out there on the YouTube. But at the same time, you know, I, I you know, want to get amongst it, get involved, see what, see what, see what all the hoo-ha is about. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to get ready in about half an hour, head down and meet everyone else. We're going to head out on, I think, just a, just like a, a minivan to, to the restaurant. It's going to be pretty interesting. So. See how we go. So the dress code was like rustic chic. I don't know what the hell that means. So I'm just beige. Head to toe beige boy. Like hope it fits the build. So we also have these like rebel moon um, poncho slash hoodie slash uh, robes that we're wearing tonight, which is really cool. They're actually so bloody warm. Like obviously useless right now back home with being like 35, 40 degrees, but come winter. They're gonna be incredible. And they're just so easy to like put on. It's like a Jedi rope, it's great. See, the hair's doing crazy shit once again. So last night uh, we had a banquet dinner just to get to know all the other creators that are here for the premiere of Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. We went to this restaurant. I don't know how I feel about it. We went to this restaurant where you essentially, it's seafood, but you catch your own meal uh, they've got little fishing rods there and then they take it out to the kitchen and do their thing. I personally did not partake in the catching of my meal. I just wasn't okay with that. And I'm also not a big seafood fan. I'm one of those painful people where I don't eat seafood unless it is battered heavily in fat and fried or it's like cooked tuna sushi. So like I'm a bit of a sook when it comes to like stuff like that. And yes, I have a lot of white shirts if you're all wondering and they're all clean, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I, I felt so bad because I'm in amongst all these people that love seafood, da, 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 but at the same time, I just didn't feel right catching a poor fish and then they go out the back and do their thing. And like 10 minutes later, they bring it out. And look, the food looked amazing and I wish I was more of a seafood connoisseur. But yeah, it was just, but look, nonetheless, it was still great to meet everyone, had an amazing night. Went back to the hotel, fell asleep. Um, it's 6 a.m. here, I'm gonna have a coffee. Uh, gonna go have a train this morning, just need to move my body a bit. I haven't trained in a couple of days and just love a good old Gary train and just reset the body and just uh, jumpstart my mind for today because today's gonna be a very busy day. Uh, at lunchtime today, we have a press conference with Zach and Deborah Snyder and some of the cast from Rebel Moon. Um, possibly ask a question, see how we go. There's no guarantee, which is totally fair because there's a lot going on. Come back here, have a bit of a breather. We have the option to have our makeup done. I might take that offer up just to see how it looks. You don't know. And then later tonight, I think around five o'clock is the premiere, the Tokyo premiere of Rebel Moon with Zack Snyder in attendance and some of the cast. So looking very forward to that, gonna get all dulled up. So, but yeah, apart from that, it's gonna vlog my travels for today. It's gonna be a very full on day, but I'm really looking forward to it. Where's George Clooney when you need him, eh? These cute little cops, so nice.
That was a fucking brutal train. I was struggling this morning. I think because I'm doing faster training, I'm about to go downstairs and meet everyone for some breakfast and I'm ravenous right now. I've only had two small black coffees and that was my pre-workout. I didn't bring creatine, BCAAs, anything like that. It would just take up too much space in my uh, suitcase. But yeah, it was a brutal upper body train. I was gonna do full body, including legs. I Glad I left legs till tomorrow. I would have been absolutely zonked and probably would have fallen over in the gym, but I'm ravenous right now. Gonna go downstairs, get some brekkie, come back up, have a bit of breather for a few hours. Might go outside for a bit, see how we go. It's pretty cloudy here today. Check it out. Yeah, pretty uh, gloomy here in Tokyo, but it's still beautiful. I kind of like the look, the aesthetic of like cloudiness in this city. It suits it. Um, but yeah, have a bit of a breather for a few hours and then at about midday, uh, we're gonna jump on the bus and head to the press conference for Rebel Moon. It's gonna be a big day today. Alrighty, Daddy, had a bit of a breather, all dressed, ready to go to the press conference. Uh, we're gonna meet down in the lobby in about 20 minutes time. Go to where the press conference is. Hopefully the question I submitted to ask Zach or be asked to Zach actually happens. Again, not holding my breath because so much stuff can change in an instant with stuff like this. And obviously there's a lot of people there, a lot of content creators. So look, it would be awesome. But at the same time, just to be in the same room as the man, so damn cool. Breakfast was so good. I, like I said, I was so <laughs> ravenous. Had myself some scrambled eggs, uh, some cheese hash browns, some broccoli. I had some broccoli because so I'm like, I'm not going to eat many greens this week. Um, and I may as well have them now at brekkie, get it over and done with. So anyway, I'm pretty much ready to go. Head downstairs to the lobby, jump on the bus. Let's see how we go. So all up the press conference went for about an hour. All of the actors and including Deb and Zach were just so damn cool, gracious. Zach is very shy. He's such a geek. I love it. And he, he loves his craft. And he said how much he sketched just to get the idea uh, for, for Rebel Moon. I think my favorite out of all of them was Ed Screen. He's just the best. He loves his craft as well, and he was so gracious as well. And he was like a kid on Christmas. He was just lapping it all up and just so reactive with the audience, which was great. All of them were, even Bay Duna and Sophia Batella. They're just all so lovely. So it was a really cool experience. Again, just to be in the room with these people was amazing. 
All right, all back from the press conference, settled in the hotel, got my bag of fruit on. Just waiting for room service. I've got half an hour to smash it, put my coat on, go downstairs and meet everyone, and then head to the premiere. Press conference was amazing. It was so cool to see Zach, Deb, the, the cast, especially Ed. Like, I'm such a big fan of Ed, especially since uh, Deadpool. Uh, unfortunately, my question did not get asked, but that's all good. Again, just to be in the room, in the presence of these people is amazing. So I've ordered myself a burger and chips called the Conrad Burger, because I'm staying at the Conrad Hotel. So you're also gonna get a quick little food review vlog. Two for the price of one. Ah, shit. <laughs> Alrighty, we've got the Conrad Burger here. We've got some chips. I've got to scoff this down, but also, I'll take my thoughts on it, just savoring the flavor. Mmm. Those are some fresh fries. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good old ketchup. So we've got a nice beef patty, thick, beautiful cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion, and aioli. All right, we've got to squeeze this bastard down. Oh, yeah. I've been eating all day. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Perfectly cooked beef patty. The smokiness of the bacon blends straight into it. That cheese, that beautiful American cheese is so good. Is there much potato on here? Mm. Oh man, this is so good. Again, I have not eaten all day. Running on adrenaline, about to run on more adrenaline so I need some fuel in the tank. So in terms of what to expect tonight, there's like a few activations going on. There's like a sequence where I think they film you dress you up a bit in like themed Rebel Moon costumes and you can like be in part of the trailer and they essentially just put some footage that they filmed of you sliced in between bits of the trailer. Some of the costumes are gonna be on display. I am really looking forward to seeing that. Hopefully get up close to them, get some nice shots for you guys because I love the costumes in this film. From what I've seen in the trailer, it looks brilliant. You know I'm a sucker for costumes and that's always the biggest draw card for me. Mm. Oh man, I'm gonna have the worst indigestion, but it's gonna be so worth it. Everything is so fresh on this burger. It's a drippy mess, but that's when you know it's a good burger. I've also been told to check out the 7-Elevens here. Apparently, the food you can heat up is amazing. Like they got chicken and rice, beautiful slow cooked beef and rice, even the desserts. So hopefully next couple of days, there is a bit of downtime. I'd love to go to a 7-Eleven and get like a sampler. This is hitting the spot. Oh man, I could totally eat another one of these right now. Mm. That was just what I needed. All right, time to throw my coat on and head to the premiere. I'm back. It is 12.06 in the morning. I am absolutely exhausted, but I had the best night. So we all hopped on the bus. We went to the event where the screening was being held, but before that we had some activities to do, which is really cool. So uh, Rachel and myself got to be included in this little virtual pop-up thing where you get to be like inserted into the trailer for Rebel Moon and they had like a red camera there. Uh, Dave, Mary and Lauren also jumped in and you got to wear a cloak and just look all stoic and that was a lot of fun. The biggest draw card for me tonight was seeing the screen use costumes on 3D printed mannequins of the actors. Absolutely beautiful to look at. The detail up close with some of these costumes was amazing. Fun fact, one of the costumes utilizes the same shoulder pads, the carpet laying knee pads that I used as shoulder pads 
for my Wolverine cosplay several months ago. I couldn't believe it when I saw it on, up on screen. And they had the costume there tonight as well. And then, of course, the main guests at the hour, we had Zack Snyder, Deborah Snyder, we had Ed and the rest of the cast, which was really cool. They came through, signed autographs, took photos. When it came time to get to us, we were at the very end, so they kind of were rushed away. I did get this footage right here of Zach, and I nodded at him, and he nodded back, and God love him. They were all so patient with the fans, which is really cool. I also got... Also got this neat little poster that two members of the cast signed, which was really cool. It would have been cool to have everyone sign, but again, like these things are so rush rush. And when it comes to events like this, the plan is there is no plan. It has been a long ass day. Um, and I've seen the film. And by the time this vlogs out, I've already put up my initial out of the theater reaction. The embargo is still underway and it lifts on Friday the 15th. So in a couple of days time. So I just gave my quick little thoughts. But overall, I had the best night. Also just with the best company as well, with Dave, Rachel, Lauren, Mary, and also the wonderful Nathan and Haley at Netflix that have just been looking after us. So it's just been an amazing night, amazing last couple of days. We've still got a couple of days to go, but this is the big vlog. This is the big one. The, the, the Rebel Moon premiere is done and dusted here in Tokyo. The crowd was amazing. The crowd's just, they were so quiet and polite. And just, again, the actors and Zach, Deborah, they just took the time to go through and it was just so cool to see. So that's it for me for today. I'm gonna jump in the shower, crawl into bed and pass the fuck out. Love you guts and I'll catch you in the next one.